Yeah, dead fuck. Alright, so, uh, we need to replace the, uh, cap, and we're gonna do the rotor as well. Um, one of the posts is pretty fucky looking. But anyways, you unbolt this. This comes up. You need to save that. Uh, then you also take all the bolts off here, because you're gonna have to retain this. The new resistor brush and seal. So it's resistor brush first, yeah. and then seal on top. Awesome. I'm sure it'll see. It. Help to put that on and to be able to push it down gives you a little more purchase. Seats the bottom. Let's back in. Back in. Just I don't know if you can see, but there's just there's only one way these things can really go in. So pop them in. You seat that. Sure you're looking at the right thing. Just the last one. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get it popped in. Oh, that's Next part, finish our cap and order replacement. Comes with you set of screws there too? Yep. Pretty straightforward. So the reason we're doing this is that we're had one misfiring, so These are turned out. Alright, there we go. Now we should go in. Come on. So there's kind of a notch here. 
I'm gonna have to match up with this. There we go. Yeah, it can only go on one way because of that notch. Just push these down, turn them. It's actually easiest to do with a flat head. Here, I can get it. Can you? Yeah. See it? There we go. Got it. I need the last one. Get the last one. And then we'll hook up the... Yep. Next we connect these again. Uh, this one goes in on the inside. Let me see. I got it. Oh, you got it. This goes on the inside. There it goes. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, that's a cap and rotor replacement for a 85. Uh, 85 Chevy G10, and we'll do a separate video for the spark plugs for brevity. So they're all back on, and the number except for three we're replacing that because the line had a bunch of corrosion in the cap or in the head. Um, and we will do, like I said just a second ago. Uh, separate video for the actual spark plugs, but that's a cap and rotor replacement.